Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the theater. Oh yeah, you can see the hair today. Oh, <laughs> there. I like it. I wish I'd done a little bit more though, because I'm, after dyeing my hair like fully green, just a little bit underneath just isn't exciting. I know it's not green, it's maroon. Anyways, I am back at the theater. It is Tuesday. Hilariously, I set up that I was gonna start vlogs on specific days so that I wouldn't have to start them at the theater while well, I was working or very rarely, but I happen to be working today. I'm just going up here into the boardroom because I have <laughs> extra drinks. So I'm here for like seven-ish hours today, I think. I couldn't decide what my second drink was gonna be, but there's gonna be people in the green room. So I'm putting my drinks up here in our staff fridge so I'll have access to them instead of the green room fridge which is super exciting I know also kind of maybe maybe exciting it's become a sewing room again up here because my co-worker's son is getting married and she's making the dress for the fiance I don't know which one she's making I really like this one it's pretty with the lace on the top it's also actually a really nice day today which is fantastic considering the snow I mean yesterday was pretty good too um, but it's supposed to get up to seven degrees today, which is like a nice warm spring day. It's not, but it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I've got myself sorted now, I think. So I'm gonna grab my breakfast drink. This one piece here that's just like chilling back there. Come forward, my friend. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my breakfast drink. Let's turn this off and probably watch a video and then get started on the day. It's weird because I used to always work on Tuesdays, but now I hardly work on Tuesdays, so it's weird, but I will get to see my aunt, which is great because I haven't seen her forever because of like, I don't know, the pandemic or something. Anyways, yeah, so, but yeah, there's the hair in its glory. Like I said, I wish I'd done a little bit more, like gone up a little bit higher, but it's a good start. Don't want to throw it all away As shattered moments fall in vain You pick the pieces up and say Hello! I'm back home. It's quarter to eight. There was a nap involved. <laughs> I've done like pretty much nothing today. Well, I mean I worked and I ended up working till 2.30ish, I think. And so by the time I got home I was like, it's a really weird time. I was like, oh no, I need to start editing the vlog gonna take me a while to get used to the schedule and so I imported the last of my footage and I put the first couple clips <laughs> uh, like uh, most of the first day in and I adjusted them for like time lapse and stuff and then I was like oh, I'll render this and it's like six minutes I'm like I can wait six minutes and then for like ten minutes it said six minutes and then I was like starting to do the head nod I'm like you know what I'm just gonna climb into bed so I did that I climbed into bed my room is a disaster I need to do laundry as as you know <laughs> I still haven't done laundry um, I'm hoping tomorrow it will be like the snow will be melted enough that I can easily get to the laundry room and do my laundry also the nice thing will be is I'm only working till noon tomorrow so I'll have a couple more hours so that's that's the plan for tomorrow hopefully fingers crossed it works out um, currently I am working on the vlog still it's currently telling me it's gonna take seven and a half hours to render so that's fantastic if it doesn't start moving here in a second I'm gonna probably stop that and retry again but I'm at 13 minutes in and I have 20 pretty much 24 minutes of footage at the moment and then I still have to add in yesterday's so it's gonna be a long vlog but I think probably the three-day vlogs are gonna be around like half an hour or something I don't know anyways we'll see in any case I'm ignoring that <laughs> and I'm just gonna chill maybe I will do some more writing that'd be very exciting um I was really getting into it at work between I it was another one of those days where we were recording and so I had to do something like every half an hour but there was nothing I could do in between so I did some writing at work which was nice oh yeah you definitely saw that so yeah anyways 
gonna wait for this and um, just get stuff done, I suppose. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. Alrighty, so it is currently 9 o'clock. I have been sitting here editing since the last time I talked to the camera, basically. It's just, it's just taking forever. This one only says 16 minutes left, 17 minutes left to render yesterday's part of the vlog. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, and I knew there was going to be like learning pains, growing pains, that's the one. Learning and growing pains, there we go. And I thought about doing this, but I should edit at least part of the vlog before the day that I'm set to edit it because it's just, it's taken up a lot of time, a lot of my day to day. Most of my time after I got home from work was editing the vlog, dinner, and nap. <laughs> so I mean, if I didn't have the nap, but anyways, working on that, oh good, it's up to 20 minutes now, but I did spend a little bit of the time, what well, was rendering, cleaning up, tidying up, making things better. It's not great, I'm about to get into bed, so whatever, and I have way too much laundry, laundry right now. So I sorted it into like lights and darks. I have some lights on top because I'm gonna wear them to work tomorrow because we gross. Actually, more likely, I'm too lazy to get it out of the closet. Also, check out the nice like magenta stains on that <laughs> from my hair. Anyways. So that's where we're at. I'm feeling a lot better now that my floor is clean, honestly. I'm a type of person who likes it clean, so that's exciting. I figured, however, I would take this time while I'm waiting for this, which is now up to 21 minutes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be on the computer a little bit later than I intended tonight. Anyways, while I'm waiting for that, I finished off Battle Royale last night and I started a new book. And the book that I started is Ashfall by Mike Mullen. A really random way that I found this book, he followed me on Twitter. And I was like, oh, who's this weird guy following me on Twitter? I'm like, oh, he wrote a book. Oh, it's called Ashfall. That's cool. File it in the back of my head. And then, like, probably a couple months later, I was in chapters. And I was like, wait, Ashfall? I know. I know the guy that wrote that. And so I picked it up. And it's a really good book. It's basically about if the super volcano at Yellowstone National Park exploded and like kind of the ramifications and the effects of that and it follows a I think he's like 15 year old boy who was separate from his family trying to get back to his family and survive and all that fun stuff and honestly it's a really good book it's actually a series there's Ashfall, Ash and Winter and Sunrise and <laughs> when I was reading this series I would like expect to, like I'd be sitting outside reading on a bench and I would expect to look up and there'd be ash falling from the sky and it was a sunny day so suggest this I'm just gonna I'm gonna become a book recommendation channel now now that I'm reading a lot so so far we have read death note the manga oh yeah I showed some footage of it earlier in this vlog battle royale ashfall I'm also listening to lord of the rings on audiobook right now which is um I would guess that I've probably read Lord of the Rings like 40 times. Not that I uh, am obsessed or anything. Super obsessed. Like, honestly. I don't know. I rearranged my bookshelf recently, so let's see if we can find them. Okay, so I've got my Lord of the Rings here. They're kind of in an awkward order because it goes Hobbit Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. Of all of this, my favorite is, I think it's the second half of the Two Towers, the one that follows Merry and Pippin. So, anyways. I guess technically Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas. Anyways, I have two copies of The Silmarillion because it was such a great read. I am lying. I thought I lost one, so I bought another one, and I never finished it the third time. I've read it twice. You need to read it twice. If you try reading it once and you hate it, read it again. <laughs> Unfinished Tales, and then, oh, I've got Board of the Rings here, which is like a spoof. I've got the new Tolkien Companion. I have Tolkien Letters from Father Christmas, which is actually a really good book. It was, um, le like, his kids would write to Santa and he would write back, and it was amazing. Uh, an Illustrated Atlas, Beowulf, and then I have Gandalf, obviously, chillin'. Ugh, I have this one, which is The Complete Guide to Middle-Earth, and I think this is the one uh, guy that I worked with got it for me. Yeah. Tiffany, this one is better. 
No! <laughs> Bruce. So I worked with him when I went to UVic. I worked with him in one of the cafeteria buildings and they actually built a new uh, cafe called the Bibliotheque and so he was moving to that one. I was very sad, but I mean better hours for him for sure. Um, I was super sad though, so every time I'd work with him I would just turn to him and look at him and go, no! And he's the one that got me the new Tolkien Companion and then like the next day he brought me the other one. He's like, this one's much better. So yeah, that was really cool. All right. <laughs> I've talked enough about books. We'll talk about books more later, but I'm gonna chill for a bit while I continue to wait for that to render. So I think I'm gonna open a window because I'm getting quite flush and quite warm, which is hilarious because, well, I mean, I guess it's no longer like negative six. It's like plus four, so it's a nice balmy day. Um, but for the last couple days, I've just been freezing. So yeah, gonna open up a window to get some fresh air in here and hope this hurries up because it's now at 34 minutes. Alrighty, so I finally got the vlog exporting. It's fluctuating between like 30 and 52 minutes to export. <sighs> I cannot wait until I can find a graphics card. We're getting close. They're becoming more available for not ridiculous amounts of money. So that's very exciting. Like they haven't all been sold out. So I'm just like now getting to the point where I'm like trying to research and I don't want to just like jump the gun and buy one right away. I want to make sure it's the right one, even if it means I have to wait like another month. But honestly, every time I render something or export and it takes forever, I'm like <laughs> computer build because I have all the pieces just sitting there except for a graphics card. <sighs> it's fine. Anyways, I'm just going to grab Ashfall and I'm going to read for a bit in bed while I wait for that. I'm going to be up a little bit late. Well, I mean, I'm probably going to be up late anyways because I have this terrible habit when I read that I just keep reading and I don't stop. Um, so it's fine. I can pay attention to the computer over there and then once that finishes, I can upload it and it'll be ready to go tomorrow. Um, just like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> That was supposed to be a really good segue and it did not go well at all. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep now and I will see you in the morning when I'm back at the theater for work. Yes, I work the rest of the week through Saturday. Good night. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday and I'm at the theater. Shocking, I know. I'm, I'm pretty gassed this morning. I think I had some weird dreams and I think I might have woken up in the middle of them. And I think that might be why I'm so tired, but hey, you know what? It's fine, we're here, we're uh, mostly awake. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm ready to start the day. Am I ready to start the day? I don't think I am. Honestly, I laid in bed as long as I could and went, hmm, do I actually have to go into work today? <laughs> but there are a few things I actually have to do today, so alas, I did. There may be a nap later, honestly, if, if, if I'm being fully honest with myself. There's a good chance there's an app later, but I also want to do laundry today, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But currently it is just before eight. It's like five to, I'm gonna get myself ready to start this day with my breakfast drink, which is over yonder. And then we'll do the things. It should just be a four hour shift, which will be nice. And then I can go home and if I need to nap, I can nap and then I can still do laundry. So that is exciting. Less exciting though is I was like, Last night I was like, I'm gonna get so much stuff done tomorrow. And now I'm not so sure, but it's totally cool. Anyways, just wanted to start today's portion of the vlog, I guess. And I will see you along the way as I can. Alrighty, so it is the dreaded laundry day. Yesterday I did sort everything pretty well, but I'm gonna have to do two loads. And last time I was in there, one of the washers was broken, so. We're gonna just do like three hours of laundry. It's gonna be great. But before I get into the laundry, like I did sort it, but I need to take half of it out. So I guess we're doing lights first. <laughs> I think in my brain, I thought that the top would wash first, but I'm obviously not bringing all these clothes all the way down to the laundry mat. Okay. Whew. And then we'll add these <laughs> into that. And then I think we're pretty good. All right, laundry time it is. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew. It's 
Little laundry is done. I just gotta fold it like everything else, and then we'll move on with our lives. Alrighty, so all my clothes are folded. I still have to put them away, but I'm hoping to be super ambitious tonight and go through my closet and get rid of some stuff. So I'm not gonna put them away yet. Um, worst case scenario, I just put them away later and don't go through my closet, but fingers crossed I'm gonna do that. It is currently quarter to four, actually I guess it's like ten to four, and my mom's working late tonight, so I'm gonna do dinner by myself, and I'm actually gonna do it now. Probably take me like half an hour to cook and just have an early dinner and maybe snack later, because I want to try to be productive. I want to go through my closet, and I want to do some writing, because I've been writing for the last couple days, and it's been feeling great, <laughs> so I want to keep doing that. So I've got the deep fryer heating up because I'm gonna just cook hash browns in here and then I'm gonna fry it up with some steak and I'm thinking some onion. Get rid of these leftovers and feed myself at the same time, it seems like a great idea. <laughs> Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. Now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight. Friend an apologetic text he says to come over Well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I Okay, so I really random thing I, I if this will work <laughs> The screen went white it's still got all the displays. It's almost like it's the light mode, but I don't even know how that happened. Anyway, it is currently just after eight. I've pretty much done everything on my list except for workout and then stretch. So I'm gonna call today a win. Wait, wait there's some, oh, I was gonna watch a computer science lecture, but back burnering that probably a little bit. I'll get to it when I get to it, but I'm not in a rush. Also, I had a shower. I had issues with the braid, but it's fine. <laughs> and I, set up my board there. My battery's gonna die, but that is my uh, business board. So I got an order for some, for a scrunchie and a mask. And I also need to come up with a design for a hummingbird. So I'm working on some things. And then there's stuff that I wanna do as well that I think maybe I'll do next week. I think I might dedicate next week to sewing. I'll have to look at my work schedule. I'm not really sure what it is, but hopefully I can work on it tomorrow, like finishing my pajama shirt, <laughs> among other things, washing my new fabric for my cardigan, all that fun stuff. But I think for the rest of the night, I might actually try to do a little bit more writing before bed, but I'm probably gonna climb into my bed relatively soon and try to, try to get to sleep not super late. That'd be great, but we shall see. Good morning, it is the next day and I am back at the theater. 
I ended up doing like absolutely nothing after I put down the camera last night. I thought about working on my story and I ended up just climbing into bed and watching Fool's Gold, which is such a good, bad movie. I, I just loved it. But I'm back in the theater now. Should just be another short shift. And then honestly, I kind of want to nap after work. I mean, I know I say that every day, but I really want to nap after work today because I'm just, I'm tired and I've been getting like over six hours of sleep, but I'm just tired and it is what it is. I also figured out how to get the screen on my receiver back to black, which is what it normally looks like. I guess I can show you what it normally looks like. That's what it normally looks like, which is a lot better than <laughs> the like ridiculously bright white. So basically the receiver has three buttons on it. If you press the decibel button and the power on button at the same time, it'll change the screen color. Fun, but I was very confused, naturally. Anyways, I'm gonna have my breakfast drink and then watch probably a YouTube video and then start my day when it hits eight o'clock. Alrighty, hello, I am home from work. It is currently just about 1.30. I had lunch, I have imported all my footage from yesterday and I've rough cut it and now it's rendering so I should be able to edit it soon, which is very exciting because I'm trying to keep on top of things. Um, but other than that, like, I haven't really done much. I, I was thinking about one, going for a walk today or two, washing my fabric that I need to wash still, but it's like a torrential downpour out there and it is so windy and it is so cold and it is so wet that honestly, like all I wanna do is just like curl up in my bed over there, which I have yet to make. <laughs> that would be glorious, but I'm not gonna. Instead, I've got like this cozy sweater on and sweatpants and naturally it's, it's like my thing. <laughs> even before the pandemic and I was staying at home all the time. It was, it was pajamas or sweatpants. Anyways, editing this is really kind of the only, this and then a little bit of writing, like more planning is really all I've got on my list today of like anything productive. So we'll see how it goes. I'm less inclined to take a nap at the moment, but that doesn't mean that won't change in like 2.5 minutes because of that has been the case lately where I'm like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then like, I need to sleep, I need to sleep, I need to sleep. So we will see, but for the present, I'm gonna try to get the vlog edited. So we're just rendering, uh, there's another seven and a half minutes, give or take to go. And then maybe we'll deal with that and see how we go or we'll climb into bed within the next 10 minutes and sleep. I don't know, we'll see. Still got two more days of work this week, so just gonna try to make it be nice and chill, slow and steady, as they say. <laughs> okay, so I just finished editing the vlog bits from yesterday, which took me about an hour, but a lot of it was just rendering and waiting. Uh, but there was some weird tracking issues where some things were really blurry. I've been trying to use manual mode a lot more because I can change the light setting a lot easier. Um, I mean, at least like I, I have this light so I can change it here, but like when I'm out and about and I don't have that control over the light, it's been nice to be able to change the ISO so I can brighten it or darken it if I need to. But I, I have no idea, half the vlog was fine and then the other half the vlog looked like the camera was drunk. So I've switched back to automatic for now and hopefully that'll make a difference. Sorry if anybody felt really sick in those last couple clips. I don't know why it happened, but we're just gonna keep rolling now. I have made my bed, I have tidied my room and um, I was honestly seriously contemplating going to do laundry, like wash the fabric that I wanna wash, but it's so rainy out there that I do not wanna go outside. It's cold. So yesterday it was so sunny and so nice. It got up to like 25 degrees in my room, which was like way too hot. And then today it was like 17 degrees in my room when I got home and I'm like, are you kidding me? So I've got my heater on back here. Um, super convenient little radiator heater. Um, and then I did have that one on earlier, which was super helpful because it, it warmer, <laughs> but I have turned it off. But depending how the day goes or the next couple minutes go, I might need to turn it back on because it's getting quite brisk and like I've got a thick sweater on, I've got sweatpants on, so like, it's fine though. Um, I think I'm gonna watch a little bit more. I've been watching a little bit of YouTube. I think I'm gonna watch a little bit more. And honestly, I'm getting like the, the itch to sew. So we might do that. I don't know, we'll think about it. I got a lot of stuff on my list. I would love to finish my PJ top because if, 
I finished my PJ top, which is a button up one. And if it's cute and if I like it and if it fits well, because I got an issue with buttons and boobs. I mean, I think a lot of women can <laughs> um, relate to this if it fits well. And then if I have enough of this fabric here left, I kind of want to make myself like a dress shirt or out of that because I think the pattern would work. So that's exciting. Also, I want to make scrunchies out of these things <laughs> and I want to make embroideries out of these things and scrunchies and embroidery and everything. <laughs> I've got problems, I'm aware. Anyways, I'm gonna try to be productive for a little bit and maybe switch focus here. Mm, we'll see, I don't know, man, we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a shirt. Um, the only thing I have left to do are the buttonholes and the buttons, but I can't find my buttons and I can't do the buttonholes until I have the correct size. But this is really giving me Hawaiian shirt vibes and I am loving it. It's also super comfy and it fits. I tried it on, but like I said, I can't find my buttons right now. I didn't really look too hard. They're somewhere. I don't know where. Um, <laughs> but... I think that was quite a bit of progress today because all that I, oh no, I had the top part of the collar, but not the everything lapels down. And I made some executive decisions on this because I really don't like the instructions, but looking pretty all right. This here is my buttonhole guide. I have marked them, but I feel like they're a little too close, so I might adjust that too. But I'm feeling pretty good about getting that done. That light is really bright. Maybe it's okay if I'm not directly in it. Yeah, I think I made a lot of progress today. And once I find the buttons, I think it'll be a pretty quick finish. So maybe I'll finish that next week when I actually sew like I want to sew next week. Um, we shall see. But I think currently I'm, I'm watching a really bad movie. Um, it's called L, A Modern Cinderella Story. And it is really bad. It's on Prime. <laughs> It's real bad, but you know, it's, it's like one of those like really bad and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna watch this. And I still have to do invoicing tonight. And I think there's a couple other things on my list, but like first I probably need to clean up that disaster. I actually found more fabric <laughs> when I was pulling this out. Um, so I need to take some pictures of this for anybody who wants some masks or whatnot. But yeah, I love this one. It is so cute. Like it's got the little kitty cats. All right, but I am gonna go for now, probably watch this for a little bit longer and then do my invoicing. I don't think it's too crazy this week, which is nice. And then I'll put everything back together afterwards. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is currently a quarter to 11. I've done my invoicing. I tidied up my bed, so I put everything away. I still have to find the buttons so I can finish that shirt but it's fine. We are like 8 million steps closer to having a completed shirt, which is very exciting. Um, and it's starting to get like quite brisk outside. Uh, and as a result, it's get it's, I'm, I'm cold, I'm cold. So I'm going to climb under my blanket here very shortly. And I think probably just put on some Netflix and pass out because I am just, I'm quite tired of all sudden, which is a good thing because the last couple nights I've struggled to get to sleep. So hopefully I won't tonight. And then tomorrow is another day, which is exciting because it's my day off of vlogging. New schedule. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go and I will see you next Wednesday for the next half week vlog. I don't even know. It's not bi-weekly because that's every two weeks. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Anyways, thanks for coming along and I will see you soon. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>